it's rather a cold, bleak afternoon. Um, today's match I wouldn't have thought of being on, purely and simply with the weather. But the ground is filling up quite nice. And as you can see today, the sponsors of the match are the Sheffield Co-op, who have just a wee while ago had a hot air balloon, but it is somewhat a little bit deflated now. But the Sheffield United team have come out onto the field and there are one or two changes in their team. The team is as follows. John Burridge in goal, who had apparently a late fitness check. Jeff Eckhart, number two. Tony Kenworthy, number three. Yes. Hobson, number four, the captain. Paul Stancliffe, number five. Ken Mike Nort, number six, who has had a late fitness test. Number seven, Colin Morris. Number eight, Keith Edwards. Number nine, Peter With, who got sent off the other day. Number 10 is Lewington. Number 11 is Wigley. And the substitute for Sheffield United today is Steve Foley. The Fulham team, who now have just come onto the pitch, are in goal, Jerry Payton. Number two, Brian Cottington. Number three, Gary Elkins. Number four, Peter Scott. He isn't the naturalist, by the way. Number five is Jeff Hopkins. Number six is Paul Parker. Number seven, John Marshall. Number eight is Kenny Anshampong, I think they pronounce it. Number nine is Jim Hicks. Number 10, Cliff Carr. Number 11, Gary Barnett. And the substitute for them today is Leo Donnellan. The match officials are the referee, Mr. Ron Bridges of Deeside. The senior linesman is Mr. G. Varnish from Rochdale. And the junior linesman is a Mr. G. F. Mann of Nottingham. Fulham come today, or they come to Bramall Lane today with unfortunately only one home, win, uh, one away win and one away draw, making a total of four points. Whereas um, they have a lot to do. They are situated third from the bottom of the league in the second division, and the. Goals are for them is scored three goals and 12 against. So the form away from home isn't of much significance. Just a little bit of item of news which has been passed to me, which um, unfortunately it's not good news, it's bad news. Whereas a Sheffield United um, official within the dressing room or the players' dressing room unfortunately passed away this uh, this week and his name is a mr bill platt who is the dressing room attendant and along with his wife peggy who has been down here at bramall lane for some 30 years well, apparently the teams have tossed up sheffield united are kicking towards the spam cop and Fulham are kicking towards the Bramall Lane end. So we're awaiting the referee's whistle to set the match in motion.
A minute silence ends. I'll, I'll repeat what I was just going to say. With the sudden death of Mr. Platt, the only etiquette to have or to hold a minute silence in respect. And matches in motion, it's to the number 10 car. Cottingham down the line, picked up by Mike Nort. Mike Nort slips but clears as far as Scott, Scott forward. But Burridge tidies up for Sheffield United. Lays it out to Mike Nort. Back to Burridge. Players will find it somewhat slippy on this icy surface. It comes back to Stancliffe. Stancliffe out to Eckhart. Forward for Edwards. Wigley. Wigley beaten into touch there by number 10, Carr. Throwing to United, Eckhart to Edwards, nicely to Wigley. Wigley beats his man nicely. And can Edwards keep it in, but unfortunately finishes up with a goal kick to Fulham. Some, after some three minutes, Play the score is still a nil-nil. No early goals as yet. Payton. Headed by McNaught. Thompson. Higher one forward for the number 11 Barnett, but offside. Free kick to Sheffield United. Can Mike know what to take it? Aims for with. With impeded there by the number nine, Hicks. So a free kick to Sheffield United in a pretty good situation for them as Edwards is a renowned bender of the ball from certain uh, positions like this. Referee Mr. Bridges from this side not very happy where the wall is situated. But it's going to be a short one. Stancliffe. And a good effort from Stancliffe. Good save by Peyton. And a good clearance first time. Eckhart to Lewington. With Jesse down for Edwards. Nicely to Wigley. Wigley gets his pass into Edwards. Edwards shadows his man, tries to get his cross in, but it's beaten out there. And then cleared upfield, trying to find the Number 11, Barnett, but it's headed by, by McNaught to with Lewington. Lewington trying to find Morris, but cut out by the Fulham defence. Hook clear by Carr. But poor clearance picked up by Scott. Over that far side to Cottington. Cottington trying to find his number 11, Barnett, but it's pushed into touch by... Looks like Paul Stancliffe. Throw in by Cottington to Barnett. Picked up by Kenworthy with Kenworthy. Morris. Morris forward puts a deep cross in. Edwards he called. But neatly cut out there by Peyton and cleared first time again. Trying to set Ashapong on his way, but it's now picked up by the number six, Parker. Headed on there by the number seven, Marshall, and hooked into touch by Paul Stancliffe. Throwing into Barnett. Barnett trying to weed his way around, but it's pushed back to the right side. Picked up by number four, Scott, but cleared with to Thompson. Thompson nicely finds Morris and nice. Come through a rook of players from Edwards to Eckhart, trying to find Edwards again, but pushed into touch by the big number five, Jeff Hopkins. Throwing to United from Eckhart to Thompson. Thompson trying to find with, but it's cut out by Hopkins. Finishes up with Lewington. 
cleared again. Headed clear by the number 10 car. To Barnett, to the number seven, Marshall. Marshall runs on there, but retrieves the situation and a team effort trying to find his inside forward was picked up there by John Burridge. Burridge will use his area quite well. Finds Morris, nicely brought down, lays it back to Kenworthy. Kenworthy to with Morris. Edwards, back for Morris. Nice football by United here. Into Edwards, but just a little bit strong. And the number five, Hopkins, puts his goalkeeper, Peyton, under a little bit of pressure. So giving Sheffield United their first corner. <laughs> Edwards moves across to take it, being shadowed by Cottington. And big number five, Paul Stancliffe, moves right to the near post. Neatly, it's flicked on, but just a little bit too far for Peter with, and he watches it over the dead ball line, giving Fulham a goal kick. About eight and a half minutes, still both teams drawing nil-nil. Peyton. Not a very good kick by him. Nicely brought down by Morris. Morris shoved there by the number seven. Marshall, free kick to United, short one to Morris. Morris, but it's hooked clear by Carr. Kenworthy nicely back out to Morris. Morris forward, but thrown to Fulham. It's a throw into, it's a throw into United. Kenworthy to with Lewington. Edwards and Morris to ball watching, and cleared by Cottingham. Another throw in. This time we'll get it right to Sheffield United. Long throw specialist Paul Stancliffe. Here he comes, flicked on, and it's, it's no foul on the goalkeeper. It's Stancliffe again, but uh, offside. Heading for Anshin Pong, pushed on there by Barn, by uh, Carr. Throwing to Fulham. Carr leaves it for Elkins. Very nicely read there by Stancliffe. And it's Edwards. Edwards for Morris. Morris going through. Benny Capit lies on it. Oh, he's in the post. Dear me, dear me. That should have been one, one for United. But uh, very lucky let off there for Fulham. And manager Portofield will not be too pleased by Morris's miss, which could have been a good time to score for Sheffield United. But it's Lewington. Time to set Wrigley away, but Edwards slightly offside. And hooked clear by Peyton, out to Marshall, back to Cottington, long one for Anchampong, but it's hooked into, it's into touch, and a little bit of shoving and pushing by Cottington, on Peter With With gets the better of that, He gets the free kick. Kenworthy to take it. 
aiming it for with again, but with unfortunately slips, as does Lewington, but still gets his half time passing. But it's Fulham with Aichampong. Quite a mouthful, it is to say. The United defence clears that time. Fulham finishes with the throw-in. Ashen Pong barged in the back there by Stancliffe. Free kick to Fulham. Free kick comes across. Big number five, but it's cleared by Kenworthy, but not a very good clearance. It's only as far as Scott. Scott. Stancliffe. Stancliffe to Wigley. Wigley nicely down the line for Edwards. Edwards back to Wigley. Nice move. Wigley across. With. Yes, and it's a goal. What a good move, and what a good goal. It all started down this. Sheffield United right from Stancliffe back to Wigley. Nice move. Wigley across with yes, and it's a goal. What a good move and what a good goal. It all started down this Sheffield United right from Stancliffe to Edwards. Edwards through for Wigley. Wigley slips his man nicely, bends it round the defence. And there was big number nine, Peter with to give Sheffield United the lead after some 18 minutes. And it's Wigley again with Wigley. Edwards. Lewington and Morris running for it. And he's crossed over again. Oh, and it was just clear that time by the number seven. Marshall and United get a corner. Corner on either side of the field now. Edwards takes it. Short one. But it's back out again for another one. So it's two successive corners. Headed clear this time by Elkins. Throwing to United. Stancliffe gonna have one of his long ones again. Aiming for Mike Nort. Headed down. But it's hooked clear. As far as number 11 Barnett for Ashen Pong. And a little bit of shoving and pulling and tugging there by Eckhart. Gives Fulham a free kick. Cottington. But offside with Barnett in the offside position. Goalkeeper Burridge to take this one. Aiming it for with, but it's cleared upfield by Hopkins. Mike Nort. Stancliffe. And it's, Par it's Parker. But it's picked up by Mike Nort. Parker again to Ashen Pong. <coughs> Dangerous move there. And it could have been. A very, very awkward situation for United there because they were ball watching and uh, Burridge wasn't quite sure there on what to do and Fulham get their first corner.
Number 11, Barnett. Near poster, cleared by Thompson. And it's Kenworthy, unfortunately, the recipient of that challenge. Throwing taken by Elkins. Elkins trying to weave, weave his way through, but uh, impeded there by Eckhart. Free kick to Fulham. I make it 22 minutes of this first half gone. United leading by this one goal to nil. An 18th minute goal scored by number nine, Peter With. Parker. Parker has a first time effort, but it finishes there for a throw in. Cottington fleets on there by Hicks. And challenging there was Barnett and McNaught, but ball out of play. Goal kick to United. His the clearance by Burridge, headed back by Hicks. Kenworthy gives it them back. And now it's Fulham. Or as I would say, it was Fulham. Cleared by Burridge again. Nicely flicked on there by With. Forward for Wigley. Wigley. Trying to find Edwards, but it's picked up by Scott. Scott out to Marshall. Marshall scampering forward. Has a snapshot and not far off. Good effort there from Marshall. And probably some 18 yards. And luckily for Burridge, despairingly diving to his left, it goes past the post. With on his own, heads it down for Lewington to Thompson. He gets it back, but gives it away. And it's picked up. But now it's with or it was with Anshin Pong, but offside. Burridge takes this way outside his area again. And it's Lewington. Lewington out to Wigley. Wigley looks up, puts a deep cross in. It's with, but plucked off the top of With's head. By Peyton. And Lewington scampering some 20 yards there, retrieves it for United and gives it back to Burridge. Crowd not very pleased by Burridge's tactics of wasting time. Anshapong to Scott, out for Carr. Carr puts a knee cross in, but luckily for United, Mike Nort was smartly there. Gives Fulham their second corner. Clear by Burridge on his far as Parker. Parker 
Good effort by him through a rock of players. But he finishes two or three yards wide. Store, big upon the score, still remaining 1 0. It's getting that cold, my lips is freezing up. But uh, goal kick from Burridge as far as with Thompson. Out for Edward for Wigley. Throwing to United. Eckhart for Wigley. Nicely on for with. With has a, an effort, but um, it looks more like a shot than a cross. And even Morris's little legs on his skinny surface couldn't keep it in. About three minutes left in this first half. Peyton for number seven, but it's hooked back by Hicks. And Ashupong impeding Kenworthy. And Kenworthy getting the free kick. Mike Nort, probably going to aim for with again as he does. It's on for Thompson. Edwards! Oh, dear me! Keith Edwards could have made it 2 0 for United, but puts it over the crossbar. So I don't think Fulham would have been uh, a little bit hurt to have been put on probably a 4-0 scoreline it could have been in this first half. Attack cut, cut out, but it's Elkins forward for Ashupong, but Lewington impedes him and Fulham get the free kick. Quickly taken. Hopkins sends it forward, but it's pushed back. Picked up by Parker. Trying to find his number 11, Barnett. But cleared. Wiggling not fast enough. And now it's with Scott. Scott has a snapshot. Cleared by McNaught. McNaught. There goes the half-time whistle down here at Bramall Lane with Sheffield United getting the better of this first half and going in with a 1-0 scoreline to them. I'm going to smartly knit down into the press room now for a hot toddy and we'll be returning to you in the second half. Welcome back to Bramall Lane. I've been adequately refreshed this, uh, this half-time period. I've had my hot toddy. So we're all ready now for the second half. All we're waiting for is the officials to come running out, and here they come. Yes, in this second half. <laughs> Referee Mr Bridges is checking with his linesmen, checking with the goalkeepers. And here we go, Edwards. Back uh, for Foley.
Nice one there, but it's pumped back by Stancliffe. Headed clear only as far as Lewington. Number five, Stancliffe, long hopeless ball. Hooked up field by Hopkins. And number 11, Barnett. Impeded there, so it's a free kick to Fulham. I've just spotted Sheffield United have got their substitute on, so as the match progresses, I'll try to find out who has been substituted. And it's Elkins for Carr to Hashem Pong. Finishes up with Parker. Parker nicely. And it's Scott, and it's tipped on, and it could be 1 0. It's 1 0. Exactly the same as happened today as what happened in the match against Stoke City. And it's Scott, and it's tipped on, and it could be 1 0. It's 1 0. Exactly the same as happened today as what happened in the match against Stoke City. Sheffield United caught with their pants down. It was a snapshot from Scott, which hit the crossbar. And I can't see who was the scorer. But the scores now are one all. And apparently the goal has been credited to number 11, Gary Barnett. And that was in the 47th minute. Now it's Mike Nort. Challenged there by Asham Pong. We all had a bit of a debate down in the press room at half-time as to the pronunciation of uh, the coloured inside uh, right's name, and it is Kenny Ashampong. Throwing to United with Stancliffe for Edwards to Lewington. Cut out there by Parker, and Fulham get the free kick. Taps back to goalkeeper Payton. Mike Nort gets a header in with Edwards challenged there by Hicks, but it's now with Parker. Parker setting Asham Pong away on that far side, but it's tapped into touch by Captain Phil Thompson. Throwing to Fulham with Elkins to Asham Pong, being shadowed there by Eckhart. Beats him at the second attempt. United all at sixes and sevens at present, but quite a bit of a melee in centre field there, but it's now with Morris. Morris to Edwards, to Morris, and Morris scampering down. Being shadowed there by Cottington, yes, he's crossing. And it's cleared by number 10, Carr, giving Sheffield United the first corner in the second half. Let's hope Edwards can make it count in the early stages of this second half. Cross it comes. He's free time. There's a goal! Yes, it's snow! Yes! And it looks like Kenny might not.
Let's hope Edwards can make it count in the early stages of this second half. Cross it comes. It's free time. There's a goal! Yes, it's snow! Yes! And it looks like Kenny might go. A good time to score there from United after that little bit of a setback with that goal from Barnett, but it's Ken Mike Nord that's put Sheffield United on the winning ways yet again from that Edwards corner. So it's Thompson from Foley with Lewington. A long one for Edwards to chase. Edwards waiting for it, but it's now with Foley to Morris. Morris beats one man. And it's... Well, well, it looks like another corner to United here. So that's a cord, two corners in as many minutes. Deep one from Edwards, headed back by McNaught, but plucked off the top of Phil Thompson's head. With doing a bit of impeding on Peyton, so Fulham getting the free kick. Peyton out to Elkins, four for, Dun for Ashen Pong, cut out there by Mike Nort, but only as far as Cottington. Cottington, nice one through for Barnett, and a quick effort there from Barnett, blazing it high and wide, keeping the scoreline at still, Sheffield United two, full and one. Aiming for with down to Lewington, but cleared upfield by Hopkins. Mike to Stancliffe, only as far as Marshall, but being beaten to it there by Stancliffe into touch, going to Fulham. War with number two. Cottington. And seven Marshall to Scott. Parker. Scott handball, I thought there, but referee where's planning. It's Ashen Pong, and it could be, or it could have been to all, but. The Fulham forward holding his head in dismay as to say, what have I done? But it finishes up with a corner to Fulham. Cleared by McNaught, to timely clearance by him. Further cleared by Thompson, but only as far as Scott. Now with Lewington. And Edwards beaten to it there by Parker. Throw into United. Ball with Stancliffe. Aiming for it with. Gets a neat flick on, but. Number 10 car, not aware of the referee's whistle. Free kick to United, taken by McNaught out to Morris. 
Morris, not a very good ball by him. And away come Fulham. Good out there by Lewington. Free kick to Fulham yet again. Taken by Cottington. 1-1 one, one down the line, but cut out by Stancliffe. As far as Scott. McNaught to long clearance upfield for Edwards to chase on to. Waiting to pull it under control and easily flicked out to Morris. Looks up, chips it over, but neatly plucked out of the air by Peyton, who throws out in one movement to set Fulham on the attack. And it's Parker. Parker out on that far left-hand side. Finishes up with Barnett. Barnett being shadowed by McNaught. Lays it back to Parker. Parker looks up. And it's chested down by McNaught. Giving Fulham their second corner of the second half. It's like Barnett taking this corner, across it comes. Strong head and uh, nicely tipped over the bar there by Burridge. From a timely header by Hopkins. Number 11, Barnett doing a Keith Edwards, taking all the corners. Cross it comes. Cleared away to Morris, but only as far as Parker. Parker beats his man nicely. But cleared by Lewington. Edwards tries to get a header in, but picks it up at the second attempt. With with, but beaten to it by Scott. And Scott, a late challenge on him by With. Free kick taken quickly to Parker. Parker, a long one on that far side, being chased by Ashampong. Eckhart puts it in the touch, giving Fulham the throw. Cottington into Ashampong. Neat cross in, but. Morris makes a bit of a mess of that. Uh, but makes up for it. Finding touch. Front full on taken by Cottington. And it's pushed back by Hicks. Back to goalkeeper Payton. Goal kick from Payton. Headed back by McNaught. Flicked on by With to Wrigley, Wrigley, through for Edwards, and just off camera goes the flag of uh, Mr. Mann, offside. And now it's Cottington, to Barnett, to Marshall. Into touch from Stancliffe. Cottington waiting to throw it in, but it's this he does this time. And off the legs of Colin Morris, it goes for Fulham's sixth corner. Sheffield United still leading on corners up to now in this match. Barnett, a long one. Finally had a clear run as far as Scott. But pump clear there by Lewington to Morris. Back to Lewington. Edwards. But Marshall a little bit slow with that. And Morris taps it out of touch to give Fulham the throw in. Oh, 
Cottington headed back by Stancliffe. Edwards. Stancliffe gets another clearance in. As far as Parker, Parker to Barnett, Barnett to Marshall. Marshall, but it's uh, cleared by McNaught. And on that far side, Wigley tidies up for United and gives it back to John Burridge. Losing his area was Burridge, flicked on there by Wigley to Lewington. Wigley front to, that was to Foley. It's now with Scott to Cottington. Out for Marshall, who just keeps it in play for Morris. Throwing to Fulham, to Morris, to Scott. Marshall. This last 10 minutes of play have been rather smattered with quite a lot of throw-ins, especially down the full and right-hand side. But it's with Parker. And now it's with Wyth. And with being caught by what I would term as a rather professional foul. Free kick to be taken by Ken McNaught. Aiming for with, gets his header in. Good movement, Edwards! chances there for Sheffield United to probably put this game out of Fulham's reach but the scoreline still stays for Sheffield United 2 Fulham 1 and I make it with about 7 minutes 8 minutes left in this second half Stancliffe to Morris Beats his man nicely, down the line for Foley. Foley gets the throw in. Morris this time takes it to Stancliffe. Gets a long, deep crossing. Hits the back of Wyth's head. Falls nicely for Foley. Back to Wigley. Nice Eckhart. And just offside was Edwards. Hicks takes the free kick. Nice Wigley gets his header in, but misdirects it and gives Fulham the throw in. Peyton trying to find Achen Pong, but Sankley gets his header in, falls nicely for Parker. Parker, this busy little coloured left half for Fulham. But Lewington foul right underneath the referee's nose. Mike Nort takes the free kick. Front back upfield by Cottington, had a bike but finishes up with Parker. Now it's Lewington to Edwards, to Morris. Morris down the line for Edwards but it's cut out. And it's a dangerous one. Dangerous cross there from up like Morris and United get the corner. <laughs> 
Poor corner by Edwards. And now away comes Fulham. Impeded there by Wigley. And it's Parker out to Elkins. Elkins down the line for Barnett. Barnett beats his man nicely. It's a short one into Atchampong. To Scott. Nice Elkins. Elkins. Team effort there. Goes wide. for with pushed back by Hicks but it's Lewington to Morris Morris trying to find with again it's Cottington but unfortunately catches the legs of Marshall and United get a throw in Stancliffe long one aiming for with Fulham this time get the throwing. And he's back to back to goalkeeper Payton. One one. Headed back by Stancliffe. Then by Foley. Stancliffe again to with. Foley. On for with, but with a little bit slow. Head tennis there by Stancliffe and Achumpong. But Thompson gets his header in. And Foley comes away with it to With. With to Morris. Promising for United. Morris lucky there, I guess he's crossing. And nearly gets an own goal by a Hicks. Now here comes Parker. Parker to Barnett. Barnett to, Mar uh, to Marshall. Marshall. And Lewington gives away the corner for Fulham. Strong header there from Hopkins. But slightly off target. I make it that we're in the last minute. Burridge. Flicked on by With to Wigley, but Wigley gives it away, and away come Fulham yet again. It's Marshall. Pushes it round his man nicely. But Lewington. One cross through the wall, and it's Parker. Cleared by Foley. But to Achimpong, to Elkins. Nice header from Stancliffe, which finds Morris. Morris into no man's land, doing a bit of time wasting. And I make it now that we're in extra time, or time added on for Injuries. Eckhart to Edwards. Edwards to with. With, but away comes Fulham. Scott. Nice with Thompson. Thompson finds Wigley on that far side. Wigley gets his crossing. It's Edwards. Oh, he fell beautifully for Edwards. Nice with Morris. 
space. Trying to chip it, but it's now with Eckhart. Eckhart puts his cross in. And it's with Morris. Foley. And another missed chance. Four missed chances in about 20 seconds which could have really wrapped the game up for United the Fulham goalkeeper Peyton rushing to get this kick which could probably be Fulham's last chance but it's pushed back but it falls for Parker Parker to Carr Carr into Elkins but it's cut out there by Lewington and Lewington setting Wigley away with Edwards scampering down and Morris cut inside, but waiting for help was Wigley. And there it goes. There goes the whistle. Sheffield United managed to win for the fourth time down here at Bremer Lane and go into 1986 with a win behind the backs. And let's hope it will more or less help them to push forward for promotion in the 1986 season. So with Sheffield United, winners today by two goals to one. It's from me, Daryl Bentley, down at Bramall Lane. Bye-bye and a happy new year to everybody.